Hello friend, in this video, you will learn that how to create such type of scene using Blender 2.82. Okay, first I will create this ramp, then I will create entire scene. So, let's switch to new window and this is your default scene. So, press A to select all the default scene, then press delete to delete it. Now, press 1 for font view. Now, press shift A under mask. Select a plane. Okay. Now press tab to enter into edit mode. Now press S then X to scale on X axis like this. Okay. Now press Ctrl R then give a loop cut like this. Okay. Now click on this loop cut and slide and change number of cuts that is 49 okay now switch to this as selection mode and select this mid edge like this and enable proportional editing mode by clicking here and now press G then Z like this okay now increase proportional size from here like this okay like this now disable this proportional editing mode select this last edges now press S then X to scale on X axis now switch to object mode then click on this modifier tab add modifier and apply solidify modifier to give little bit thickness ok now increase thickness value like this then apply then under add modifier apply bevel modifier and increase number of segments from 1 to 3 ok then now press shift a under mask Select a cube. Now press tab to enter into edit mode. Then press S to scale like this. Okay. Now press Ctrl R to give a loop cut. Then press Ctrl R again. Then give a loop cuts. Okay. Now switch to object mode. Then grab. It means move this cube here like this. Now press F4 ok under preferences then under add on search here cell fracture cell fracture and enable this now select this cube click on this object under quick effect apply cell fracture then switch to on what's then ok like this ok now press M click on this new collection and rename which you want like small cubes ok and click on ok now select this first cube and delete this cube ok now press select this ramp and press H to unhide this then select this entire cube then click on this object under set origin choose origin to geometry like this and select this cube under physics properties click on this rigid body and uh, click on this dynamic and enable here deactivation and expand this deactivation panel and also check mark start deactivation then select entire 
cubes like this then click on this object under rigid body select here copy from active ok now press shift a under mesh select this uv sphere like this and press tab to enter into edit mode then press s to scale like this ok now switch to object mode then click on this object data properties under normal check this auto smooth then right click then set it smooth ok now enable this ram like this and uh, expand this terminal window and change its end frame rate value that is 150 now press G then X to move on X axis like this now press G again then Z to move on Z axis like this ok now press I then apply here location then type here 100 and press G then X to move on X axis like this ok and press I then apply location and press tab to enter into edit mode and scale little bit to make it smaller ok now press G then X like this when you press space bar then it will play like this ok now we have to select this sphere then click on this physics properties under rigid body uncheck dynamic and check animated and also click on this icon that is insert keyframe ok now tap again 100 then also insert keyframe like this when you play this animation it look like such type of animation now click on this option and enable this origin like this now move this origin to bottom of this sphere and click on this option and now disable origin ok now select this UV sphere under this constraint tab ok add object constraint and apply shrink wrap then select target that is plane ok also switch shrink to pro uh, project and keep it plus Z axis and you can adjust distance from here like this you can up experiment with minus g and plus g ok yeah this is fine now we have to add a plane so press shift a under mass and select a plane now press s then type here 50 like this sorry I think uh, ok now scale on x axis like this switch to object mode and select this plane under this physics properties tab and click on this rigid body switch to active from passive now you have this type of animation i think you learned something from this video thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel and leave your comments